Alright, so I was playing Deep Oaken on my other slot, and I realized something. You can go into first person. Is it a great idea? Absolutely not. Is it gonna be funny as hell? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. So let's get into it, and let's start this character. Let's go! Alright, so we loaded in, I immediately have to scroll in. So pretty much, the only thing that's bad about this is that you kinda have to access the inventory, you have to zoom out just a little bit. So you can actually move this stuff. So I, because I've tried this a little bit, and uh, yeah, I think this would be a, a great, <laughs> a great testing of Deep Oaken. Before heading to Lower Aresia, I had to do one thing: chop down some trees, get some money, and sell some stuff. So that's exactly what I did. Now equipped with some basic materials, it is time to head to Lower Aresia. Oh no. Hope that saved you. Oh no, am I dead? Oh no, I'm getting gripped. Rip. Help me. No. <laughs> Rip. I'm still, I got my boat. I'm fine. What? Oh, Mudskippers. I see. Let's go! We killed Muskipper. <laughs> the first person. Oh my god, that's pretty good. This is all pretty good. For early level. What the hell? I am fully down now. Thank you. In conclusion, Deep Oaken is playable in first person. But it's a little odd, honestly. Could you do more? Could I have done more with this? Probably. But I just wanted to do a quick little video testing it out. <laughs> Deep Oaken in first person. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.